on the top left of michaelsavage.com. Uh, I'm proud to announce that we have a new chart put out by Cumulus Media, uh, who did a beautiful job. It says, Michael Savage continues his domination of Sean Hannity, sweeping in four of the five top markets. And it shows New York, it shows Chicago, San Francisco, and Dallas. Join the fight, be a part of, the, of our winning team. It's a beautiful uh, it's a beautiful chart, and then there's a great picture, a collectible of me and Teddy in a 1970 Jaguar XKE without any uh, computer chips in it in case the government decides to control my car driving and step on the gas pedal. There is no chip that they can, they can use in that car. It's got three SU carburetors, and Lucas, uh, I mean, the Lucas wires are probably more dangerous than the NSA. <laughs> to be honest with you. The Lucas wiring in, in the Jaguar are probably more danger to me than the NSA is. But there was an interesting article by Andrew Carell in Mediaite today that you will not see linked on any website because they're all part of the uh, <clears throat> the Hannity Limbaugh cartel. They pretend that they're independent, but they're not. <clears throat> and as far as I can tell, after yesterday's interview, they're all part of the Republican establishment. There's nothing wrong with that. But make no mistake about it, they're Republican hacks, they're Republican apparatchiks, including every one of them. And I'm not, which is why they hate me and they want to keep me down. Now, we'll talk about Crimea. Let me read the article. Let me get it out of my system because I have to. It's on uh, Mediaite, linked up on Savage.com. Michael Savage boasts of trouncing rival Hannity and Major Marcus. He's a Republican hack. And here is the article. It's very short. Indulge me. It's no, he looks better than me in the picture. First of all, that picture of him is 20 years old. He now looks like uh, Lou Costello with the part down the middle. Stop with the 20-year-old picture. What are they running a picture of me with the gray uh, goatee and him looking 30 years old? I mean, run one of him today. What are you going to do? A stock picture just shows you how he looks like a Republican, and I don't. <clears throat> That's the difference. It's no secret that Sean Hannity and Michael Savage have a bitter radio ri rivalry. That enmity only got fiercer when the pair became afternoon drive competitors earlier this year. In their first month of competition, January 2014, Savage pulled an upset, defeating Hannity in the key 2554 demo in a handful of major radio markets. That surprising streak has been maintained, as Savage boasted today of a continued dominance in February 2014. You know, there's a key line in there, an upset victory. I'm the underdog. I don't care whether you like me. I'm the underdog, damn it. And America's supposed to love an underdog instead of stepping on an underdog. I'm the underdog, not him. Get your head on right. According to Nielsen Audio Metro data, Savage at least doubled Hannity's average quarter hour rating in two major markets, New York and Dallas, and at least tripled his rating in Chicago and Savage's hometown of San Francisco. Note, the Chicago market doesn't quite see direct competition, as Savage's show is delayed until 6 p.m. local time while Hannity's airs live at 2 p.m. I still beat him. You ever see that yet? In a DB show, I beat him. Now, let me just finish it. I'll get it out of my system. I'm elated because they said it couldn't be done, Savage told Mediaite. I stomped him, and it's gratifying to me because Hannity's never had any competition. He continued on to lash Hannity over politics. This is the first time anyone's got the chance to expose him for being a Republican hack. He reads Republican talking points and promotes his TV show, and I think people got tired of it. Suffice it to say, the pair have an ugly history. As we've documented here, Savage has long accused his rival of being a shallow fake broadcaster. In, in response, Hannity has insulted Savage. The feud came to a hilt when it was announced Savage would take over Hannity's time slot after the latter split with Cumulus. I took over 52 major stations. Despite Savage's first two months of demo victories, Hannity still defeats Savage in overall national listenership, finishing second only to Rush Limbaugh. Savage is unfazed by that, however. Here's what I said. He has more stations than I do, he told us. But when I compete with him head-to-head -head in these major markets, he gets stumped. They write, we have reached out to Premier Networks, the Clear Channel subsidiary that syndicates Hannity, for comment but have yet to hear back. So that's that story. You had to hear it. You heard it from me. Okay. And uh, I like to read comments that people make when they put me down. And someone says, it's rich that someone who worships the federal government and parrots establishment talking points would have the temerity to question the intelligence of others. I don't know whether he's referring to me or him. I assume him because I don't read Republican talking points.